All right, we have here a nice Permobil M3 mid-wheel drive. M stands for mid-wheel drive. M3 power chair by Permobil. This chair has 118 miles, which is nothing for a Permobil chair. That means this chair was used for about five months, okay? Five months of usage. Uh, if, it, if a person uses their chair all year round, all the time, they get about 300 miles a year on a chair. So 118 miles was used maybe four or five months. So this chair is loaded. It has a 12-inch seat lift the electric tilt, the electric recline, and electric feet. One thing we need to remember about this chair, this is one of the, this is one of the chair that was built this way from the factory. The seat right here sits at 24 inches. So if you buy this chair, the seat cannot go lower than 24 inches. So it's 20, so you're starting two inches higher than most, okay? Most chairs are at 22. This will be 24 high when you start going up, okay? So that's the low position of the seat is 24 inches. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to make the seat go up. You can do all this through the joystick or through the switch box. I like to use the switch box, it's quicker for me. So I'm gonna use the first button and pull it forward, I guess. And you can see the seat going up. So now you're starting at 24. So by the time you add 12 inches, you'll be at 36 inches. You'll be eye level with someone when you're up to 36 inches. And you can see the seat going up right now all the way up to 36 inches to the top of the seat. The nice thing about these chairs, once the seat is elevated, which is already there, you can still drive these chairs at a decent speed in your house with the seat elevated, okay? So you can see the seat's elevated there. Let's look at the base. We can see the armature for the seat lift. Um, we can see we have 14 inch solid wheels that will not mark your floors solid caster wheels in the back solid caster wheels in the front you have an anchor point here this is where you secure your chair to your lift or to your van for transportation there there's another one inside of here so you have two on this side two on the opposite side so you would use these to secure your chair if you had to secure it okay there is suspension back in here you can't see on the video there's a huge shock right back behind the wheel you can see when i move you can see the fork moving when i move the pressure down now this chair has two motors, okay? So you can see the motor on the M3s. If you look at the front, you can see the round part of this part. That's the motor finishing here, going this way directly to the wheel, okay? Now, if I want to push this chair, this chair probably weighs 425 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. If I want to roll it around, if I had an issue with the chair, hopefully not, but if you ever had an issue, what you do is you turn the power off, and the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in the motors, okay? So on an M3, if you look at the front of your motor, you have a reflector, but right here you have a little handle, it's very small, about an inch tall, with a little screw in it, and you can see how it moves, okay? If you move it inward, that way, what it does, it unlocks your wheel. You have to do both motors. Then you can roll your chair around. So on the M3s, you gotta look at the motor in front and look for that little handle, and when you're done rolling it, Make sure you bring the handle back in gear. Now you're back in gear, okay? So that's how you, um, you put this chair in neutral and move it around. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna bring the seat back down. And while the seat's going down, I'm gonna show you, there's a swing away joystick. Notice how I just took away 10 inches there from from here, about 10 inches away from the front, you can move to our dining table a lot closer with a swing away joystick. If you're left-handed, we can put that joystick on the left side and it'll swing to the left side, okay? So the seat is almost all the way back down. There we go. The next feature I'm gonna show is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here goes, tilts back. So when you have a tilt, of course it's gonna take the legs, it's gonna take the back as they're all connected. That's part of the tilt. So this is as far back as it would tilt. The next function I'm gonna show you are the legs. These are electric legs, so if you needed some good circulation, you could tilt the seat back and move your legs up like this and have your feet higher than your body, okay? There we go. So that's your electric tilt and your electric feet. And now if you want the legs to go all the way up to here, you have to do it before you tilt the seat. So let, get the legs up and then tilt the seat then you can have your legs all the way up to here. So in this model, you always have to tilt, uh, put the legs up before you do the tilt if you want the legs to go as high as here, okay? 
Matter of fact, when I bring the seat down, you'll see I can, the legs will go up some more. So if you're halfway tilted, right about here, now you can see the legs will keep going up right now. See that? So if you were halfway tilted, right about here, you see your feet are, you notice how your legs are higher now? So you could do it at this level here too. So I'm gonna bring the seat back down. So now we've covered the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric feet. And I wanna put the legs all the way up here so you can see them. So the last feature is called the electric recline. The electric recline is the back right here going back by itself. As you can see the back going back. This is called the electric recline. As you notice these arms flip up so if you transfer from the side you can take these off right here and you can transfer right from the side. Okay, From either side both arms do raise up. So you can see how low it goes. So this is what it would look like if you're laying flat in this chair right here. That's your, these are the all the way down positions. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, bring the back back up and the, I'm, on, I'm using two buttons right here. So I'm bringing the back back up and the legs back down with two buttons. But if you're using the joystick, you can do everything with one button on the joystick. Okay. If you're outside, leave your legs out a little bit so you have more room under your feet under here. Right, on this model here, if you want the legs to go all the way in, you have to have the seat tilted a little bit like this. So the legs go all the way in. So now you can see your feet are all the way in. Let me go this way here under the chair. You see it? So if you're in the house, because it's a mid wheel drive, you'll be able to turn with a good turning radius. You see the turning radius? So that's what, that's what a mid wheel drive will do for you. All right, let's look at the seat. So the seat on this chair is 18 by 18. We can adjust these seats. So if this is too big, too small, we can adjust all that. We can change the whole seating system on these chairs. You have lateral pads here. Usually they're sitting about here. That keeps your knees or your hips from going out off the foot plate. Usually they're sitting about here, but you can move them anywhere you want on this track right here. And they're adjustable in and out. You can see all the adjustments in here. There's two here, there's more in here. So they're fully adjustable to your satisfaction. You have a safety belt. I mentioned earlier the arms flip up. Nice leather back, nice big headrest. Um, the back of the chair, you can see the back. And the headrest is fully adjustable. As a matter of fact, if I pull it out, you can see all the adjustments on the headrest right here, okay? These cylinders right here, if I turn these, what it does, it tips the arm up. This one for this arm, so it's easier to turn it while you hold the arm up. And that gives you the tilt on your arm. This one for this side, that one for that side. On these chairs also, right behind the chair, we have a power button right in here. Where my fingers are at? When you receive these chairs, we usually turn the power off right here. As a matter of fact, you'll hear it. Power is off completely, okay? When you get your chair, put your fingers in here, go up. Pull it to the left, and the power is back on. You still have to turn your power back on on your chair in front to, to activate the power. So when you charge these batteries in this chair, you'll take your Permobil charger, and you'll plug it right below the joystick right here. And as soon as it goes to 100%, you're fully charged, OK? There's two batteries in here. They'll give you about. Up, up to 15 miles on a battery charge. Now that distance on a battery charge, it all depends if you're outside, going uphill, the weight of the user, how you drive your chair, how many of the functions you use. So this, you may not get 15, you might get 15. So it all depends how you drive the chair and where you're at with the chair, okay? So let's recap. This is a Permobil M3 mid-wheel power chair. This power chair has 118 miles. It was used for about five months, still new condition. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. One good thing about this chair, some of you will like this, the seat cannot go any lower than 24. So you're already starting high enough. You're starting at 24. We cannot make this seat go lower than 24 inches. So if you're buying this chair, 24 is your number right here when it's down. Of course, with your seat lift, it's going to go a lot higher also. 
You have the swing away joystick, the flip up arm, the safety belt, the Rojo Air. This is an air cushion, by the way. This is a really expensive air cushion. Lateral pads, anchor points, adjustable headrests, just a nice power chair. This is a Permobil high, this is a high quality power chair and it's ready to go. So this is the Permobil M3 power chair. This power chair is practically brand new. Um, this power chair here has the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the legs. Um, top speed is about six miles an hour. And when you let go of the joystick, it stops pretty fast. It has electromagnetic brake, which slows the motors down to a crawl or to a stop once you let the joystick go. So it's very easy to drive. Great suspension. Any of these any of these high-end power chairs, the Quantums and the Permobil, this is a Permobil, they have a great, great suspension, a great ride. So you see how it has no problem going through my rough grass here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to raise the seat up so you can see me driving the chair with the seat elevated. So while the seat is going up, let me just say something about the seat lift. If you're going to use the seat lift, please, flat surface, movie theater at the house, not in the backyard. These are nice chairs, but you do have to take care of them. And so if you like to drive with the seat elevated and you'll be at eye level with everybody else around you, that's a good option there. So here it is, a seat elevated. So three miles an hour is faster than walking speed with the seat elevated. So this chair goes three miles an hour with the seat elevated. This is an M3 by Permobil. This is a high quality power chair, one of the highest quality you can get for a power chair on the market. So this one has the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, and the legs. Just a nice, nice power chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.